Hey, it's Matt. Welcome to my YouTube channel. There are many like it, but this one's mine. A couple of fun things to talk about today. Uh, I spent the better part of the day today. I decided to give the refrigerator, 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 refrigerator a good, uh, good cleaning. And everything was going just fine. It looked, was looking like a million bucks. Um, until I pulled out the bottom shelf that sits above the crisper drawer. And there is a piece of glass that sits in this plastic um, housing and I pulled it out and I pulled the glass out of the plastic housing and I was moving it over to rinse it off and it literally it exploded in my hands um, I don't know if it was the, the change in temperature from being in the refrigerator to room temperature whatever refrigerator temperature is versus 72 or so in the house maybe temperature change just caused it but it, literally I didn't bump it on anything I didn't break it I didn't hit anything it just it literally exploded and glass went everywhere down in the garbage disposal in the side sink where I had some dishes that had to be done um, floor uh, into the crevasses on the crevice crevasses on the stove so I had to pull the burners out um, so I spent a better part of the day um, making sure that I got glass out of any possible place that it could be. I was a little worried that the, the schnauzer were walking around, I was going to step on it. He was very curious as to the explosion, of course, but thus far everything seems to be cool. So yeah, I don't know, I guess maybe if you decide you want to clean your refrigerator and do a, a deep clean on it, maybe it's best to let the, uh, the innards get to room temperature before you try to um, do what I did, which was basically just clean it off. It was just, this was so weird though. I mean, literally I had it in my hands and it was moving and it just went Pow! and it was like explosion and glass everywhere. And yeah, a lot of, a lot of cleanup to do. Um, another thing I noticed is uh, McDonald's here still has the Shamrock Shakes, which are awesome. Another reason that, I, that McDonald's is just excellent. McRib and Shamrock Shakes are two things that are just fantastic. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Gosh. I posted some comments on a uh, YouTuber that I follow on one of my games, his channel. And it was just uh, nothing really, nothing offensive, nothing even, I don't know, uh, controversial or just it was an observational comment. And for some reason it got deleted and I'm a little curious as to why it happened, if it was YouTube that did it, or if it was the YouTuber that did it, but um, I don't know, just weird, because like I said, I wasn't, I didn't, didn't say anything controversial or anything um, negative about the video that he made, which was, you know, quite a good video for um, the subject matter that was being discussed, so it was just weird that the comments just, like, disappeared. I don't know if it was YouTube that did it or he did it. But I'm not, um, I guess I'm not uh, doing too much investigative digging to see exactly what the cause was, but it was just strange. Maybe if somebody out there knows why that would happen, let me know. But I did not, you know, like I said, it was nothing controversial and it was nothing even bad and it just was no longer on his, his page. So um, today's t-shirt is the Guns Don't Kill People, Jack Bauer Kills t People, um, back from the TV show 24, which was a uh, staple of my viewing back in the day when it was the series. I used to get excited about every new season of 24 coming out. Um, quality, albeit a little far-fetched entertainment, but Kiefer Southern was brilliant in it and uh, lots of little pot, plot twists and stuff, so it was a fun, it was a fun show. Um, so yeah, guns don't kill people. Jack Bauer kills people. Uh, yeah, that's uh, about what I got for you guys. Today is Thursday the 9th. I'll be doing some clan battles tonight. And I will also probably be doing some raiding in Dungeons and Dragons. So everybody have a good night. I will catch you next time. Peace.